going to do some testing before we do some proper radio checks. Dug out my old linear, my Zatagi 150. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not that. I love, I'm not a lover of linear amplifiers. Uh, definitely not on sideband. I think on FM it should work. But first, I just want to check the SWR to make sure that it hasn't crept up before I start running a little bit of power. It's a bit too much, really. I don't really want to run that much, but that's all I've got. Um, yeah, I, need, I need to really work in the shack here. Um, I've neglected it too too long. I need to run some decent RG213 around the shack. I've got it all down there. I bought it all and uh, there it sat for a, well over a year. I just too, well, I had too much going on, especially with the COVID thing and everything else and doing shopping for my parents and such likes. But I definitely want to improve the shack over the winter. It's just got very messy in here, various things. Anyway, let's see if I can do this handheld. I do apologize. So we're just going to do the, just check the SWR before I even think about putting on extra power. So I think I've set this to the forward position. It's very difficult to do one handed. Bear with me. That's as near as damn it isn't it? So let's just put that to the reference there. And uh, yeah there we go. So it's about 1.1. It's barely moving the. It's barely moving the gauge. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the SD power the linear. Sorry. What I found in the past is if you do run through a linear amplifier, when the linear is switched off, it tends to increase your SWR. But when you've got the linear switched on, you really shouldn't see a big increase in the SWR that's coming back to the radio. I suppose you can't if you put it past the linear then you can use it as a power meter but then the SWR is not going to be right if that makes sense that's that's how I understand it so anyway let's connect up that linear amplifier and let's see what happens the way I've connected this I know people will ask we've got the antenna going into the output of the linear amplifier then we've got a patch lead going into the SWR meter and then that into the radio because we just want to check the SWR close to the radio um, the power the amplifier always goes on the end of the circuit right again we're one-handed so uh, let's just I, I expect it probably will increase a little bit let's just check we've got the measurement right there yeah I'll take that I'll definitely take that go back to reference yeah and that's what I thought would happen so it has, it has gone up with the amplifier switched off about 1.5 which is safe I'll accept that and uh, what I'll do now is I'll switch the amplifier on and then I key up and hopefully that will drop down maybe to 1.3 something like that yeah about 1.2 okay so that's about 1.2 with the amplifier switched on, we'll switch that off again. I'm just going to do a, a basic test of the output of the radio. This is a very, very cheap meter. It's the cheapest sort of meter you can buy, to be honest. I don't rate its credibility, but it, was, it has does have a power scale, and uh, that's at the bottom there. If you can see, it goes from zero to 100. So I'm expecting this to be around about four watts. So let's go and yeah there you go you can just see it's just on this meter it's, it's showing a fraction over four but as near as damn it at four watts that's on fm um normally they put out a bit less they generally ship at about three watts something like that but that's fine four watts into that amplifier that that would be that won't do it any harm at all i think the they recommend about six watts um yeah so four watts into that will be absolutely fine so yeah that's sort of set up with the amp i say with the amplifier i won't be using the amplifier all the time local contacts i'll see what i can do without the amplifier 
and then basically with the amplifier sort of switched on it would just help if I want to shoot get some contacts into London there's a lot of uh, London breakers on which I want to make contact with in the winter and I really really struggle lots of infrastructure lots of buildings FM just doesn't work very well when you've got obstacles in the way AM works a lot better sideband even better but so uh, yeah so I've been running that in the winter but I just want to say just I'll, I'll take this out of line now I don't like a lot of things in line I've already got too many switches and things I need to tidy it all up I just wanted to check that everything was safe I don't want to blow the new radio up straight away before I've had a chance to use it and that's the automatic squelch doing its job I try and I will try the automatic squelch I'm, I'm not a lover of auto squelches to be honest I didn't like it much on the ground and I say uh, I do like to use squelch on FM because FM is, is very it's a very loud static it does get a little bit annoying but anyway so I'm pleased that setup works I can now go ahead and get me radio check for Freddy in the shed one and hopefully this will be fine I, I, I might think about changing the microphone out I'll, I'll have a I'll see how I get on but uh, yeah, I might try and maybe put on a different microphone. These President mics aren't the best. They're a little bit scratchy, I think, in audio compared to what you can get out of a, a better microphone. But that's all in the future. There you go, just a little video. I just thought I'd show you the wiring up of the amplifier because people ask and you just make sure that you check your SWR first. You don't want your radio to get damaged in the process. If you want to use an amp, you may not want to. I'm a little bit 50-50 on amps, but anyway. Okay, thanks for tuning in, and of course, catch you on the next one. Stay safe.